All right, something that is really helpful to us in statics is symmetry. And you'll see in this problem, we're going to have two ropes here pulling up and one rope pulling down about this point A. Imagine there's a little ring or something here connecting them all. And uh, this is right. This is happening right in the middle. So this length here of this rope is the same as this length. Uh, and they're forming a 90 degree angle. So what we're going to do is we'll be able to use this symmetry to help solve this problem. So first of all, we'll draw a free body diagram uh, around point A. So we're going to have two ropes pulling up, like I said. One's kind of going in this way, one's kind of going in that way, and one is going straight down. So we know that we'll call this one weight. This is equal to 10 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared. And that will give us our weight of 98.1 newtons. All right, so again, let's call this tension one. And let's call this tension 2. Uh, what else do we know? We know that this angle here is 90 degrees. So uh, let's look at this. Sum of forces in the x direction is going to be equal to 0. So we can first of all write this. Sum of forces x equals 0. That's because this is definitely in static equilibrium. It's not accelerating to the right or the left. Uh, and also what we should do is we should add our coordinate axis with our positive x direction and our positive y direction that we're going to be referencing. So if we know that this is 90 degrees then if you draw triangles like this then this one has to be 45 degrees and this one also has to be 45 degrees and we know that this is pointing straight up because of the symmetry in this problem that's pretty obvious some basic trigonometry. So uh, that means that our x component of these vectors here so we're gonna have this guy here t1 so T1x is going to have to equal, well, T1 times T1 times sine 45, okay? And T2x, similarly, T2x, also by simple trigonometry, has to equal T2 times sine 45. Kind of running out of room there. That's okay. Now our force balance in the x direction we will have negative t1 sine 45 plus uh, t2 sine 45 is all equal to 0. So simply move this over, we'll get t2 sine 45 equals t1 sine 45. Divide sine 45 by both sides, get rid of that, and we'll find that we have T2 is equal to T1, and we're going to simplify this a little, and we'll just say this is equal to T. All right, and if this isn't the case, then this is going to be accelerating in some direction, left or right, and we don't want that because we have static equilibrium. All right, so that is our force balance in the x direction. Now let's do it in the y direction. So we'll have sum of forces in the y is going to be equal to zero because this is static equilibrium always sum of forces is always equal to zero in when you're studying statics so uh, let's look at this we have negative 98.1 because that is going down negative 98.1 uh, this is going to be plus well we'll have t1 uh, cos of 45 right that's going to be the x component of this t1 or sorry the y component that's going straight up and then we'll have plus t2, which is also times cos of 45. And this is definitely going to be equal to 0. And we know that t1 is equal to t2, so we can simplify this a little. We can say that negative 98.1 plus 2t cos 45 is equal to 0. And there we go. So now we just want to isolate for t, so we'll say that T is equal to 98.1 over 2 times cos of 45. So we will get that T is going to be equal to, type this in your calculator, you'll get 69 point, oh, there's a few decimal places, but we'll just write a few, uh, 369.3672, which is also equal to T1 equals t2. So the tension in this rope is 69.3672 newtons. I should probably write the units. 
Uh, and the tension in this rope is also 69.3672 newtons.